y'all. Sharm Zaspina here, homegrown and happy to bring you PTV News Now. Kicking off our program tonight, the Civil Service Commission has received the green light for an upgrade request in yesterday's 20th NETA board meeting in Malacanang, chaired by the president. The CSC's 3.8 billion Philippine Civil Service Commission's modernization project finally passed NETA board muster, which among others include the office's vital initiative for developing human resource management processes in the public sector, which is tentatively set for implementation beginning next year till 2029. The board also concurred to the inclusion of the Department of Agriculture and Dep Ed to the NETA Board of Directors to ensure the administration's priorities of food security and education are properly attended to. Also taken into consideration in the NETA Board's approval of the CSC's modernization scheme is the CSC's vital initiative for conceiving and its development of human resource management processes in the public sector. Former and 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump, lost here by a razor-thin 11,780 votes in 2020 and has blamed the vastly popular Republican governor for his electoral misfortunes. Now, he's kumbaya with Governor Kemp and his camp and allies in the GOP are all hands on deck to recapture the swing state in November, even as his counterpart Democratic candidate Kamala Harris and running mate Tim Walz are hopping on the bus to the Peach State to hopefully keep it in Democrats' hands as VOA Scott Stearns reports. Kamala Harris chose a bus trip through Georgia as her first post-Democratic convention campaigning, starting at a high school band practice where running mate Tim Walls talked about the joyful work of their campaign. I'm grateful to be part of a team with a, a really great head coach here uh, in your next president of the United States, Kamala Harris. And Harris praised young Georgians' leadership. Your generation, all that you guys stand for, Everything you have at stake is what is going to propel our country into the next era of what we can do and what we can do. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump led Georgia political polls through much of this election cycle. But with Joe Biden out of the race, most now show Trump and Harris are tied. Trump running mate J.D. Vance was in Georgia last week. We're going to do it together, but only if you get us across the finish line in Georgia. This is one of the most important states in the union. Vance and Trump are campaigning largely on what they say are economic and immigration policy failures, both of which Trump told Georgia voters should be blamed on Harris. With your vote, inflation will stop. The illegal aliens will be turned back. They're not coming in. we got to stop them. Did you see where she's now saying, oh, we had a very good border, oh, great. They had the worst border in the history of the world. Trump winning Republican votes in Georgia is complicated by his denunciation of the state's popular Republican governor, Brian Kemp, who won re-election two years ago despite a Trump-backed primary challenge. Earlier this month, Trump repeatedly blamed Kemp and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger for his Georgia loss in 2020. Raffensperger and Brian Kemp, your governor, who I got elected, by the way. If it wasn't for me, he would not be your governor. I think everybody knows that. He's a very disloyal person, isn't he? Very disloyal. With Georgia polls tightening, Trump used his social media site last week to thank Kemp for all his help and support in Georgia. Kemp is set to co-host a Trump fundraiser in Atlanta Thursday. A Georgia grand jury indicted Trump and some of his allies last year over their attempts to illegally interfere with the state's 2020 election results. Trump attorneys this week again appealed for the dismissal of those charges in a case that will not go to trial before Election Day. Georgia's state election board Monday approved new rules that critics say could disrupt finalizing the state's November election results. Two board members voted against the change. The three board members who passed it were all hailed by name by Trump this month as, quote, pit bulls fighting for honesty, transparency, and victory. Scott Stearns, VOA News. At this moment, let's turn to my colleague in PTV's Baguio City Studios for what's brewing of late in the Cordilleras. Audrey? Ming Bagarabi, Filipinas. 
walo nga employers iti nagduduma ang negosyo iti syudad ti Baguio tinaipayan iti show cost order manipud iti social security system gapo iti panaglabsingda kadag iti mandato nga itududing ti lintag Upat nga employers ti saan ang nangirehistro iti negosyo da iti opisina, upat mat ti saan ang nagbayad iti SSS contribution dag iti trabahador da. In karimad dag iti naipaayan iti show cost order nga agtungpal da. Sipod mat January aging ga July iti agdama atawen, siyam iti pitupulo kat lima nga employers ang ikan iti show cost order, ti nakapagbayad din iti contribution dag iti empleyado da. Ganda ti programa ti SSS nga run after contribution evaders ang maipakaawat kadag iti employer ti obligasyon da kadag iti empleyado da nga itududing ti lintag gantap nung mapilitan niya ag-comply dag iti saan niya ag-tungtungpal. Please uh, consult with us. Uh, our door is open sa accounts management section. Tutulungan ho namin kayo na mabigyan ng uh, magaan na pamamaraan ho ng pagbabayad. Kabayatan na iti agtultuloy a panagtignay tap no mapukaw ti illegal drug activities ng isayang Kati Police Regional Office Cordillera Administrative Region iti Bybus Operations a nagresulta iti pan nakatiliw ti dua high value individuals ken may sanga street level individual. Iti Baguio City natiliw ti 38 year old HVI iti Barangay San Luis kalpasan a natiliwan a nagilako iti 1.5 grams ti shabu. Natiliw madla ang ti 30-year-old SLI iti Barangay Outlook Drive ang nagilakong mat iti 1 gram ti Shabu. Ijay mat bukod Benguet, may sa at 26-year-old HVI tinatiliw iti Bybus Operation kan naalak ang kwana ti 3.38 grams ti Shabu. Sumango dag iti sospek iti kaso a panaglabsing iti Republic Act 9165 wino ti Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. Tinabaligin nga operasyon ti mga ipakpakita iti kari Iti pro-cart ang mga laban iti illegal drug trade iti regyon, kain pa nanginamnama iti siguridad di komunidad. Dagita dag iti damdamag manipo di iti PTV Cordillera, Shock, ni Audrey Villena, na Imbag Arabi. Many thanks Audrey and that's all she wrote for tonight's show. Join my colleague Monique Tuzon tomorrow night for a recap of the week in review and the global roundup. And always stay connected by keeping it right here for news you can rely on. This has been Sharms Espina wishing you a restful night ahead. And thanks for watching PTV News Now.